To understand GitHub Actions better, I want to demonstrate a simple use case that is deploying a static website to an S3 bucket. Let's see what is covered in this video. Number one, configure S3 bucket for hosting a static website. Followed by number two, writing a GitHub Actions workflow to deploy the code from the GitHub repository to the S3 bucket. Let's get started. I'm in AWS console. Go to S3 bucket. Create a bucket. Give a meaningful name. Make sure you uncheck block all public access because after deploying HTML code into this, we need access. Not only we, I mean, everyone over internet need access. Only then they can access this website. Remaining options keep default. Create a bucket. Yeah, check this checkbox. Create a bucket. The bucket got created. Now I want to enable static website hosting. This option. Enable. Hosting type is host a static website index document meaning when you hit this website which file you want to serve by default usually we keep index.htm itself if something goes wrong in the website if you want to show some error message then configure error page details this is optional i'm leaving it save changes and there is one last thing that is S3 bucket policy. Go to permissions. In the bucket policy, I want to provide read access to everyone. In the background, I created this policy with help of chart GPT. save changes this is part one we created s3 bucket we made all the settings we need to do in s3 bucket for hosting a static website now the next part is i want to create a workflow which takes the static website code from github repository and deploy onto this s3 bucket let's go to my github account this is the repository i have and there is only one file that is index.html file go to actions just randomly pick any workflow because i am going to type the workflow from scratch I'm calling this file static S3 deploy. Like we discussed earlier, the file name can be anything. Let's give the name of this workflow. I'm calling this deploy HTML to S3. Then tell when this workflow should be triggered. I want to trigger this workflow on a push event. Then comes jobs. Single workflow can have multiple jobs, right? In this case, I want to have only one job. I call this deploy. 
each job must have a runner meaning the compute where this job should run i am using a built in runner this runner is offered by github itself right uh, i am using the built in runner to perform this deployment onto s3 bucket then you must define steps i'm using an action which is checkout action this represents the version of checkout action this will check out the code from this git repository this must be a list yeah after checkout i want to send html code to s3 bucket for that GitHub Actions require permissions on S3 bucket. Let's configure AWS credentials. There is a built-in action to configure AWS credentials. This action takes few inputs. Uh, AWS access key ID. I, I want to fetch this access key ID from secrets. Uh, this is not yet configured. Uh, let me first finish this uh, workflow configuration. Later, we can go and configure secrets so that this action will work. AWS secret access key and the region. Let's find out the region of our bucket. This one. All right, let's go and configure AWS access key ID and AWS secret access key. Let's go to AWS console. Identity access management. Let me create a brand new user. Next. I want to attach policy directly. I'm granting Amazon S3 full access. This is not recommended in real world. We need to create a custom policy and provide least permissions but to keep this demonstration simple i am using amazon s3 full access create user go to security credentials generate access keys i am going to use cli in GitHub workflow for syncing code. Select the checkbox. Provide description. Create the key. Now go back, copy this. Open settings in separate tab. Go to secrets and variables we want this for actions not the environment secrets the repository secrets give a name 
and provide access key id add create one more repository secret and it is aws secret access key copy secret access key paste add it so once it is added no one can see the secret now let's test this part itself commit changes commit because we configured push event it should auto trigger there is only one job that is deploy and it is successful now what we need to do is we did check out of the code we got access to aws next part is copy static website code onto s3 bucket and see if it is deployed let's go to workflow file edit i want to use multi line script So I want to do AWS S3 sync. Whatever is present in the current folder, nothing but we did check out, right? It has index.html plus dot git folder as well. Remember that. So what I want to do is I want to copy only index.html and exclude everything else. Let me fix this problem. Put colon. Yeah. And uh, I did not install AWS CLI on this runner, but how it's going to work? The point is Ubuntu latest runner by default has AWS CLI installed. So I don't need to install it explicitly. Let me commit this and see if it deploys static code onto S3 bucket. Commit. Go to actions. Yes, it is triggered automatically. Yes, uh, the syncing done successfully. Let's go back to S3 bucket. I did re login. Let's go to S3 bucket. open our bucket go to properties scroll completely down so there is a bucket website endpoint copy that perfect right so the application got deployed onto s3 bucket with help of github actions workflow